Hello, my name is Rajiv Pridarshi and today we'll be talking about Cognos Data Manager to Data Stage Conversion. Why and how? So the agenda for the presentation would be number one, why to think about CDM to data stage migration? What are the top user concerns? What's an alternative way to look at it? And what are some unique processes that PR3 brings to the table that can help you not only to migrate to data stage, but also leverage some of the new features of information server. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email and I've given the details in the last slide. So a little bit about PR3. Uh, we started in 2003, we are based in Chicago. Our primary focus is on information server, training and services, and ETL migrations. In 2015 and 2016, our focus is on Cognos Data Manager to data stage conversion. We've got a lot of customers, including Aon, Taco Bell, Wells Fargo, Northwestern, Guitar Center, Walgreens, Northern Trust, and many more. And some of these customers have taken our help just to migrate from Cognos Data Manager to Data Stage. So the first question is why do we need to migrate from Cognos Data Manager to Data Stage? As most of you already know, IBM is retiring support for Cognos Data Manager in 2016 and is replacing the ETL functionality with Data Stage. So as a result, they are offering customers to move to Data Stage free of cost. And our goal is to help these customers migrate in the easiest way possible and to make the transition as smooth as possible. So before we go further, what are some of the top concerns that our users have? The first of all, the biggest thing that people worry about is that why do we need to do it? I was very happy with Cognos Data Manager and just because IBM decides to retire it, I need to migrate to data stage. So I'm not very happy about this migration. And then I'm also worried about the fact that I need to learn a new tool. And I also am not sure that what is the guarantee that this will not happen again. And the biggest reason that I don't like this is because I don't see any business benefit in this migration. It is an effort that I don't need because I've got a ton of projects that I'm really worried about. Bottom line, since this has been forced upon me, I'm not excited about this change. So when you look at all of these concerns as we uncovered from a lot of customers that we talked to, this is a tough situation. But we have an alternative way to look at it. Just think about the top five strategic goals that you had in the last two years from a data integration, data quality, and data governance perspective that you could not implement because you did not have the right tool. I've seen a lot of customers, when I asked them about what were some of your goals that you could not implement, they came with, hey, we do not have a data quality strategy, we do not have a data linear strategy, we, we don't have any data dictionary, and so there are a ton of problems that we could not solve because we did not have the right platform. So here's the good news. Whenever you switch from Cognos Data Manager to Data Stage, it comes with a lot of features and components that would help you to solve those strategic challenges that you were grappling with. So now you are getting a platform to implement all of these solutions for free. And hence, this is not a tool migration problem. This is an, is an opportunity to implement your strategic goals effectively without paying for any additional software costs. So whenever you think like that, certainly a lot of opportunities open up because you can see the business advantage that you can get by having an integrated data dictionary. You can see the business advantage that you get from having a data quality process. You can see the business advantage what, which comes from having an overall data linear and data governance platform. 
You are also worried about single version of truth. Guess what? You have got a solution for all of those challenges that you could not solve till yesterday. So when you look at this migration from a strategic perspective, this is an, a phenomenal opportunity. But how do I go about it? Yes, I understand that this is a great opportunity, but what should be the process so that we can leverage these features to achieve our strategic goals? So fortunately, after our experience with multiple customers, we have created some processes and strategies to implement this. The first one is a process that we have created at PR3 called the Goals Navigator. So what is the Goals Navigator? The Goals Navigator is a proprietary and unique process that studies 15 aspects of the client data and BI landscape to identify the most important strengths, gaps and changes required to achieve the vision of the organization. So what are some of the benefits of going through the Goals Navigator? These are some of the feedback that I got from my customers. One customer came to us and said that, hey, I was never sure about what my team thought about these goals, but for the first time by having this open discussion in this format, I know exactly what the team thinks and now we have a plan. So that was a great benefit out of this process. So, as a result of the goals navigator, you can identify the guiding principles and relative importance of each area of data integration infrastructure. We also facilitate the discussion with various stakeholders with a set of questions. And the final result is that we create a future roadmap and a customized reference architecture to help you and to plan you to help you to plan the next set of goals and milestones. I'm sorry for <laughs> my tongue slips over here. So this is the goals navigator. In this process, we look at these 15 areas from governance. There are specific questions related to governance that we ask to understand where you are and where you wanna be, what are the gaps, what are some of the strengths, what are some of the weaknesses. We look at your sources, we look at your information architecture, we looked at your existing data warehouse, we looked at your team design, how do you create your teams. We looked at your business processes, the batch process and the real time process. We looked at standards and best practices that you're using and we see what opportunities that you have to even improve them further. We look at your targets. We look at your code migration process. How do you go from development to system test to prod? We look at your administration strategy who are the people who are administrating your ETL infrastructure, your BI infrastructure. Then we look at your process statistics and monitoring. What kind of processes do you have in place to tell how many rows were processed, what kind of rows had warnings and errors. We also look at your data lineage strategy. How do you capture data lineage? So for example, if you're looking at your Cognos reports and if there's a specific item in that report, uh, the customer sales, and you're not very sure about that figure. You want to know exactly where that data came from and data lineage allows you to go directly to the source from where this data came so that you know exactly where this data is coming from and you have more trust based upon the source of the data. We also look at data quality. What kind of data quality issues do you have? Do you have address issues? Do you have uh, duplicate records? Do you have got multiple versions of truth? And how do you solve them? We also look at your real-time process. Do you have needs of integration with uh, web services or REST API? And how do you implement that? And then we look at your technical architecture. What are some of the aspects of technical architecture that you're very happy about? What are some of the areas where you are not happy about? And based upon this analysis for all of these areas, we create a roadmap and that solves all the challenges that you are facing as a result of all your, uh, you're facing this challenge because you do not have the right platform. And by, with our experience, and with the great platform of information server, we can solve all of these challenges. And we help you to create a, a roadmap and a milestone and a phased approach to implement all of this uh, design goals. So we also have a process 
once you identify all the goals, we have got a process called the Cognos Data Manager Migration Accelerator that helps in speedy migration, development, and testing of deployment process. We look at all your catalogs, we look at all your jobs within the Cognos Data Manager. Then we create some uh, templates. So for all of these jobs, this is the way you would be rewriting it. We also go through the IBM Migration Assistant. We take your, all your processes through that, and some of it gets automated, and it creates the data state jobs. We look at all the remaining jobs, and we manually modify them. So by the combination of IBM Migration Assistant and our efforts, you get the fastest migration to data stage. We also look at exactly what your goals were from the, uh, the process that we went through, the goals navigator, and then we enhance your data state jobs and add more features so that you can leverage this new platform to achieve the goals that you have analyzed in the previous step. And once each of these things are, as they're being done, we create a project implementation plan to make sure that every step is done in the proper way and we have got proper testing and accelerated development. At every step, we also make sure that we are having conversation with all the stakeholders so that we can meet all their strategic goals as well as we have the fastest migration. So this is a pictorial description of the Cognos Data Manager Migration Accelerator. The first is, we look at your CDM assets, we look at your catalogs, uh, fact build jobs, and um, dimension build jobs, and then we take all of that and pass them through the IBM Migration Assistant, which is a tool produced by IBM. And all of those jobs that get, get converted, we just propagate, we just have a brief look at them. And for all the jobs that require manual intervention, we uh, go th through our template and then modify those jobs. So we make sure that we divide the jobs into simple and complex jobs so that we can have different strategies to create all these new jobs in the fastest way. And then we do parallel testing and results analysis. And then we do the deployment, make sure everything is fine. And then we turn off Cognos Data Manager. So as a result of this process, what happens for you is that Migration is just the byproduct. It's the fastest way to migrate. But what you get is the power of IBM Information Server. You get a good data governance platform which we can help you to implement. You get an integrated data dictionary. We get a, you get a data quality platform where you can clean your data. You can also analyze your data. You also get uh, a full process where you can do impact analysis and uh, batch processing best practices could be implemented, and a lot of other things, which are just byproducts of this migration. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the email address as given over there. But understand that do not think of this as a painful migration process. This is an opportunity to leverage IBM Information Server to solve all the strategic goals that you had in the last two years, but you could not implement them because you did not have the right tool. I would strongly encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity and create, kick off this process and reap the benefits that you always wanted to reap, but you could not. Look forward to talking to you very soon. Thank you.